Hey guys, while I don't shallow, hmm. two years prison sentence awaits Shetima. He found guilty of double nomination by court. Now, I know more tonight of this one. No. Hmm. Hey yeah. guys, this is getting more interesting every day. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Nigerian's vice president elect is the politician. He's a politician and a former banker, Kasima Shetima Mustafa, has been doubled to be in being present for two years if found guilty of a political offense. Since 2019, he has represented Burunu Central as a senator from 2011 to 2019. He presided as the governor of Borono State, Kasim Shetima, and degrees from the universities of Medugri and Ibadan. In Nigeria, Anthony named Isaac Anumodu has declared that if the All Progressive Congress vice presidential candidate Shetima is found guilty of making double nominations in the federal election, the court must sentence him to two years in prison in accordance with the law. Mr. Isaac Anomodu, who participated in an interview on AIT this morning, claims the first level of the petition is not something that would take one week. You won't need to collect evidence of electoral malpractice from INEC. Just call INEC to come and tender Shetima, Shetima's nomination papers, both as vice president and as a senator. And if there is evidence that he actually signed for nomination on both vice president and the Senate front, don't forget what the law says. He may not have emerged as candidates or won the primaries, but if he signed the papers for both Senate and Vice President, that is two years prison sentence according to the law. You don't even need one week to make that judgment. Come with the two copies of his nomination papers. It will be submitted as evidence to the tribunal. The parties will be given one or two days each to address the tribunal on the legal implications. Does that disqualify him or not? After which a day is enough to give ruling. Hmm. Nigerians, I think APC and uh, the vice president elect should be worried about this. If actually the Nigerian system knows what they are doing, I believe this time around they will prove themselves, you know, to Nigerians that they still remain. The judiciary system, you know, that judiciary system when in the talk say now the last man, now the now the now the poor man last hope. Yes. It's now it's now led for them to prove their step their their steps again on these matters before them. So the Nigerian vice president elect is the politician, is a politician and a former banker. Kasim Shetima Mustafa has been doubled to be imprisoned for a good two years if found guilty of political offense. Since 2019, he has represented Borono Central as a senator from 2011 to 2019. He presided as the governor of Borono State. Kasim Shetima earned degrees from the universities of Medjugri and Ibadan. A Nigerian Anthony named Isaac Anumodu has declared that if the All Progressive Congress vice presidential candidate Shetima is found guilty of making two nominations in the federal election, the court must sentence him to two years in prison in accordance with the law. Mr. Isaac, who participated in an interview on AIT this morning, claims the first level of the petition is not something that would take one week. 
you won't, you won't need to collect evidence of electoral malpractice from INEC. Just call INEC to come and tender Chetimara's nomination papers, both as vice president and as a senator. And if there is evidence that he actually signed for nomination on both vice president and the senator front, don't forget what the law says. He may not have emerged as a candidate or won the primaries, but if he signed the papers for both Senate and vice president, that is a two-year prison sentence, according to the law. You don't even need one week to make that judgment. Come with the two copies of his nomination papers. It will be submitted as an evidence to the tribunal. The parties will be given one or two days each to address the tribunal on the legal implications. Does that disqualify him or not? After which a day is enough to give ruling, he said. While Nigeria is a lawless country, nothing is working in accordance with the law. It fills up with bribery and corruption. That is all. So politics is all about cheat. Why you can in Nigeria today, useless country. <laughs> when you say useless country, that means the people of the country are useless too, including you, bro. Even 10 years in prison, that man is evil man. This issue is like someone that holds butterfly that you are asking is butterfly dead or alive. If you say life, they will kill it. If you say dead, they will release it. You are you are in between the dead and the life. INEC and both forms are with the both forms are with INEC. INEC can rewrite another form in their office that nobody will know. Hmm. So guys, these are some reactions by Nigerians. What's your take concerning this? Please kindly subscribe. I beg your pardon. Please kindly subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you for this coming out here. Bye for now.